the final recording of tonight, season 11, episode 1, 18th of October 2031. How are we all doing? I'm actually feeling really good at the moment because Janessa de Esch have dropped more points already in the eight games of this season than they did in the total of last. So it does seem like either teams are cottoning on to them not being that good or the quality of the entire league has slightly risen and Janessa de Esch are in trouble. We could really give them uh, some serious damage here. I've, I've waited until this game, uh, middle of October, to bring to you a weight against Janessa de Esch. And the reason for it being that in the schedule, uh, our conference league group is actually really bloody easy. Uh, we've got Rad Ranitsky, Ran Ranitsky? Uh, I think an Icelandic team, uh, uh, and Sarajevo. We think it'd be the best team in this, but they're currently down at the bottom of the table. Uh, so I think we're going to win that group. Uh, flew through the qualifiers for the most part. Um, had a little scare against uh, Lausanne, Lausanne Sport. Lausanne Sport. Um, but we eventually got there 4-0. Um, the home game and what? It was an aggregate scoreline of, what, 4-1. Let's have a look at the transfers that have happened. Boy, oh boy, could sell the sell-on clause for Hogsby, but I, I keep that around for a bit. It's been tempting me all um, all um, summer, but I've I've not pulled the trigger on that yet. All right, we have spent four million. We have sold one point six million. Um, oh no, no, there's a cliffhanger really at the end of uh, last season because we were going from semi-professional back to professional and there were a whole load of uh, contracts uh, to renew and we renew most of them which is really really good news um especially for the like Leandro Augusto Hernandez who sadly injured for this game uh, I was really really uh scared about trying to replace someone of that quality with basically no uh, no budget. It was going to be an impossible job. Uh, no, we we. As soon as we finished the season, say about two three days afterwards, we we were professional again, and we were able to offer contracts. No problem. The wage budget wasn't really a problem uh, to begin with. So once once that had all settled down, easy enough. Right. Let's go and try and find where we. We need to start this. Yep, from there. Okay, we'll go for the outs first last season. Uh, Julio Cesar Jimenez, who was predominantly playing as a right back. I tried to like push him in field because of the six foot two. He's uh, moved to Olympia, 22 years old now. Definitely uh, hit the ceiling. £400,000 out. And we then have Cameron Wilson, uh, a German winger who was uh, more right-hand sided, but he's got a strong left foot. So training him up to be on the left-hand side instead, it would make total sense. Uh, he was signed up for 675000 got maximum potential, looking, looking good. Edgar Jimenez was um, a centre mid brought in to try and fill in the gaps of Alexandre Jose and Hochschwey, uh, Hochschwey, should I say. And um, yeah, look, I'm splashing money at that problem. See what sticks. 2.1 million there. Miguel Hernandez comes in. Really nice signing here as a uh, driven 20 determination goalkeeper. And um, well, it looks like George Burns might be on his way at the end of this season because he's considering his options. Don't know why this club's been amazing for him, but he's considering his options, and I really can't uh, stay. Uh, sorry, get in his way to be honest, because he has been so good for this club, and it's uh, it's nice to have a backup goalkeeper that could turn into a first team goalkeeper um, if uh, push comes to shove. Let's see what happens next summer. Uh, then we move to this year. Gabriel Blanco comes in on a free 
And he's only five foot ele five foot eleven. One to turn him into a little bit of a right back. Uh, doesn't have the best crossing, but we're we're a bit stumped for that position at the moment. And Hernandez may be overpaid for him. Uh, trying to just find ourselves a right midfielder. Sorry, a left midfielder. Um, there's a lot of investment in that position this time around this year. I think strikers will be the sim a similar um, thing next year. And uh, this is a nice signing. Uh, Johnny Giorgazzi. Giorgazzi. Um, a Georgian centre mid with maximum potential at the moment. That is £950,000. So, yeah, in total, it's just under £4 million. Outwards, uh, there's the loan of uh, Macias. And then uh, a couple of frees. Stefan Lawrenson goes to Fuller Etch. Christian Lozano was an annoying one to lose, uh, but he didn't want to sign up again. And he went to Janessa de Esch, uh, which, which really annoyed me at the time. Obviously, Janessa, uh, champions at the moment. Uh, Tijalgic has gone to uh, Vojvodina. That's why we had so much um, investment in that position. Because uh, Tijalgic was the only player for that position. Only natural playing player for that position. Uh, Lopez is out on loan. And uh, hopefully he does really well at his... Um, as his team, Dude Lange. And then we got Andreev, who's also out on loan, the left back. Lots of loans this time around. Um, I was a bit worried about Gutierrez. Uh, I feel like put him out on loan, see if he can develop. And if he's like, it turns out to be amazing stats, we'll give him a chance in the first team. But he has some significant injury problems. Um, and he's out injured right now, which kind of emphasizes that um, we've also got this goalkeeper and I'm really really happy that we've been able to get him out on loan and playing first team football so Jamini could come back somewhat of next year and fill in all the problems that George Burns leaves behind um, because I feel I feel like that's gonna happen uh, him leaving it behind uh, Denny's uh, drop into three star ability and looks like that's his ceiling uh, darling of oh, the beautiful darling uh, he has gone, and it was not a big transfer whatsoever. You might be thinking, what on earth are you doing at £60,000? Obviously, he's a way better player than £60,000. Well, I've got a Chinese uh, Youth Academy player that is playing off that right-hand side. I've also got uh, Garcia. Is it Garcia? Playing off that right-hand side. Porto really want a darling. 40% of next transfer. That could be a clause that we can buy in the future that can purchase us another player. And that was a similar a similar story to Ibrahim Sorry, Diallo. Uh, not sorry to for signing him. He was a good player uh, that gave us many, many years. On a free, and we, we sold him for half a million. It's not the biggest profit, but it works. Uh, Victor Manares moves to Fuller Etch. Fuller Etch once again putting in uh, a lot of money to try and make everything work. Daniel Simek out on loan and uh, Joseph Martinek, Martinech out on loan. That's it. That's it. All right. So, I believe I've talked about everything that's happened. Let's have a quick run through the first team so you can see where we are. Quality-wise, we might be a little bit down from last season. But it has all the potential to become, very quickly, the best team that we've had. And, and I do mean very quickly. Defensively, we've never been better, in my opinion. We're so strong defensively right now. But attack-wise, we're a bit weak outside of Hernandez. The midfield obviously get into grips with without Hokshai and Alexandre Jose not there. Been trying the complete forward uh, attack and support, but this would not really work with a uh, Barber Bart. So we'll go back to deep line forward support and advance forward attack. 
Uh, we've also dropped the fullbacks into support with the wingers. Uh, maybe on attack, maybe on support. I don't really know at the moment. Uh, just trying to figure out if it's if it's more effective. Obviously, Quest is a very defensive player, and Espindola once again, yeah, very defensive. A little bit better at crossing, obviously. I don't want them getting too far forward because they would be slightly ineffective with the wheels that they've got. So, Janessa Desh against Titus Patanj. We haven't seen one of these games for a while. Um, hopefully, it's not as bad as the last time that we faced each other because that was, that was incredibly unlucky on our behalf. Right, we're, we're losing. Cool. <laughs> now, you're seeing all our defensive qualities, yeah? This is what's conceded. This is what we've conceded against. He's not. He's not too bad. But he's not. He's not the best either. <sighs> Cracking. Well, on the back foot. Love to be on the back foot. Wilson. We've got someone open. In the box, and that's Franco Garcia. The two wingers combining, they could they could give us some real, real uh, nice uh, added dimension to the attack. Garcia corner kick, ball agonizingly close over the bar with his header. Match stats: Titus Patanj. Are doing quite well at the moment. Can get the league table P up. Don't know why it changes all the time. We can really assert ourselves at the top of the table with a win. Nice tackle in. Is that Brickic on Straveso? Blanco to Brickic. Brickic has developed so quickly. Could turn out to be a world class player. I mean, he's, di he's dictating the play at the moment. Villagran over the top. Centre mid trying to play a ball in. And Franco Garcia is there again. Get in. That deserves praise. And we're on the move. It could get worse for Janessa de Esch. A red card. This is what we like to see. Questa. Let's get let's let's make him let's make him pay for what happened last season then. Let's make him pay. Let's let's make this an embarrassing scoreline for them. You are embarrassing. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> Kebal is a monster. What a monster we've signed up. A lot of money for a position that we didn't really need to uh, strengthen. But, god damn, I, it was a good decision in the end. And we're getting Petrovic back for next season. 1.2 million agreed. Fucking, fucking delighted. Absolutely delighted to be having him back. You might be thinking, oh, you, you're splashing the cash out a little bit. Are you? Are you sure, are you sure that's all right? Yeah, man. I've still got about 10 million in in the balance. Maybe just under that uh, with, with the certain things that I'm just about to read off the notepad happening at the football club. It's Vesley. Gone, gone a bit too acute there on the angle. Um, last season, this is the last season, we had 370 shirts sold. We spent two million upgrading the youth facilities. We spent three point six five million upgrading the training facilities. Okay, so that was the season when we hit the group stage of the Champions League and everything started turning in the right um, in the right way. 
So even though we were at a precarious situation, we were, we were living, living life a bit dangerously, weren't we? The board was still willing to invest in the club. This season, 702 shirts sold, or, or the end, back end of last season when the reports come in. 702 shirts sold. We've spent 4.9 million on more training upgrades. So I think that'll turn us up to four and a half star or five star training upgrades, which will obviously be great for the growth of our players. And one of the best pieces of news, 1.07 million pounds has been spent on expanding our stadium to a provisional capacity of 3,386. This board, I didn't even need to, I didn't even need to like convince them that that was a good idea. I asked for an expansion of the stadium and they just gave it me. This board have been fucking unreal. Absolutely unreal. I usually complain about boards. I will never complain about these guys. Never ever complain. 2 1. Janessa de Esch. Down to 10 men. I don't know why I pressed encouragement. 30 minutes to go. Let's let's bring on the Georgian. We've got three defenders playing really well. Don't I don't want to change it. Don't want to change anything here. We're good for another goal. So let's let's go and do it. Seeing a, a Janessa de Esch equaliser would be absolutely pathetic at this moment in time. 2-1 is as good as 3-1 is as good as 4-1. I get it. So if, if it comes full time and we, at least we've won. Uh, but there's an, there's an opportunity here to... Run a bit riot, you know, run a bit of riot and really, really put it to the home fans that they are not the best team in this league. You're getting lucky. And that luck is about to run out. This is, this has been an absolute domination of stats. Very disappointed that it's only 2-1 at this moment in time. There's a few seconds left and I hate, I hate this. With a few seconds left, with a key highlight. Wilson breaking through. So long as it's our highlight, I don't mind. Okay, that's fine. That should be full time. Next time, next next time that we're away against Janessa De Esch, I need to see more lethal finishing than that. But all in all, it's a win. Puts us five points ahead of this early stage, which is so... It doesn't sound like so much breathing room in a normal league season, but it is so much breathing room from what I've I've felt recently with how stupid, absolutely stupid, the um, the title races have been with Janessa De Esch. So close. Ridiculous. How did they get 100 points last season? Right, perfect. That that was a nice episode. And oh, I'm six points ahead of Janessa De Esch with nine games played. That is that is so much space. They've got it all to do. Fall at Etch, I mean, good on them for being here, I guess. And and competing. They they deserve it for as, as so for the amount of fucking money that they've thrown at this. They deserve this opportunity. Lutz seems like a decent like man manager at least. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah. So for the rest of the season, uh, it's mostly going to be striker search. See if I can sign one up for next season's budget. Um. Other than that, we'll we'll maybe make a video if we get to the later rounds of the Conference League, which is absolutely a possibility with the team that I've got. 
if not, then it'll be uh, just as we're about to win the Luxembourg League, because that's what I hope is going to happen, what I hope, what I plan on achieving, okay? Um, especially with the lead that we've got against Janessa de Esch, unless it's Fole Etch this time. Uh, I would be all for that with Fole Etch, uh, just to break up the, the uh, well, the two-horse race. That's the best way of putting it. Um, I think I've covered everything. Yeah, covered everything. Oh, and time for bed. See you next time. Bye-bye.